let's take just a few minutes here and talk a little bit about the control and forwarding plane. These two things and concepts are very important as we understand what SDN is. So let's just draw out a few routers here and just use this as an example. Remember, a router communicates via a routing table. So each one of these routers actually contains a table within it that gives it information on where it's going to go and, and the path that it's going to choose. And these routing tables within the controller plane, the controller plane then takes, or the control plane, excuse me, the control plane really takes and looks at uh, these tables and creates a, a routing table or a communication uh, path uh, between these routers that's going to be um, most advantageous for the environment. And this is going to be based upon the common protocol uh, that that it's using within the environment. For example, RIP, um, OSP, um, H, excuse me, OSPF and BGP, all protocols that are used within an environment. So based upon that, it then forwards this routing table or information onto what we call the forwarding or the data plane. Now this is a very simple, very, very, very high level look at what these planes do. And then of course the, the forwarding plane then, among other things, updates topology. As needed. So this is a real quick overview of the differences between the control plane and the forwarding slash data plane within your environment.